Hola a todos. Today we're going to read The Word Collector, La Coleccionista de Palabras, by Sonia Wimmer. Luna was an extraordinary girl. She lived high, high up in the sky. And she had a very strange pastime. Luna collected words just like other people collect stamps. Funny words that tickled your palate when you say them. Words so beautiful that they make you cry. Words that embrace your soul. Magic words, delicious words, long and short words, funny words, crazy words, magnificent words, little words and humble words, very serious words. But one day everything changed. Little by little, the beautiful, magnificent, and fun words began to disappear. Luna asked the birds, the clouds, and the travelers, and they all replied the same thing. People are forgetting all the beautiful words. They don't think they're important anymore. They are too busy. That night, Luna couldn't sleep, and when the first rays of sunlight sent the stars off to bed, she made a decision. She put all the words she had into a big suitcase and set off with them on a journey. She flew over seas and continents, mountains and cities. Wherever there was hate and violence, she sowed words of brotherhood, love, and tolerance within people's hearts. Wherever there were people who were sad and lonely, she wove threads of warm words, words of friendship and compassion. And where everyone was too busy to laugh together, blind to the miracle of nature, she scattered the craziest, funniest, and most magical words she had. And the words tickled them on their noses, on their tongues, and in their ears. But, oh no, suddenly the suitcase was empty. There wasn't a single word left. Luna was desperate. But then she saw that people started throwing letters to each other, like balls. They invented new words. They gave them to each other. They shared them. And they let them fly away again. Luna sighed deeply and began to dance joyfully among them. Together with her new friends, she had given them all of her words, but she was happy. What is the point of collecting something if you can't share it? I wonder, how do we share our words with other people? We'll talk more about that in class. Hasta pronto. Adios.